In the vast universe of cinematic history, one chapter that sparks both curiosity and nostalgia is the sci-fi epic John Carter. You killed him with one blow. A decade ago, it made its cinematic debut promising audiences a journey to the mysterious and awe-inspiring Red Planet. However, the path of John Carter was not paved with the success Disney had anticipated, leaving fans with cliffhanger ending and a thirst for more. Picture this, a charismatic hero, John Carter, portrayed by Taylor Kitsch, thirst into an alien world. Barsoom, or as we know it, Mars. Andrew Stanton, renowned for his directorial success with animated gems like Finding Nemo and Wally, -E, helmed this live action spectacle. However, despite Stanton's storytelling prowess, John Carter struggled to find its footing at the box office. The movie, with its grand ambition and a production budget of $307 million, faced a daunting challenge to transport audiences to a distant planet, introduce them to warring civilizations and make them care about a hero caught in the throes of an otherworldly conflict. While it made $281 million worldwide, it failed to turn a profit, casting a shadow on the prospects of the envisaged franchise. Have you seen the unveiled vision of the God of Mars? Had the cosmic rise rolled differently, John Carter II would have been titled God of Mars. Andrew Stanton, in an alternate cinematic reality, envisioned a series that would unfold the secrets of Barsoom layer by layer. Each film would feature a different character delivering the prologue, with God of Mars interesting Lynn Collins character Deja Thoris with this narrative responsibility. The sequel's plot would thicken as Deja's prologue revealed a heartbreaking twist, the abduction of her child, Cartheris, by the shapeshifter Matai Shang. A reunion between John Carter and his family would be marred by the passage of time, setting the stage for a quest into the bowels of Mars. Here, akin to the surprises beneath the Earth's surface, in Beneath the Planet of the Apes, a hidden civilization with advanced technology would be unveiled, orchestrating the planet's functions from below. Do you know about the woes of John Carter, who's a victim of circumstance? Despite Stanton's grand design, John Carter failed to secure the future of the Envision trilogy. The movie faced an uphill battle even before its release, with a troubled production history dating back to 1917 publication of Edgar Rice Burroughs' novel. A complex marketing challenge further compounded its struggles, with fans resorting to recutting trailers in a bid to present the film more coherently. The financial disappointment of John Carter became a harbinger of its unfulfilled sequels. While the $281 million global box office might seem substantial, the colossal production budget left Disney in the red. The irony lies in the fact that the movie about transversing vast distances faced its own insurmountable gap. The financial chasm between earnings and expenditure. Have you heard the echoes of Barsoom or a fandom's call to arms? Despite its cinematic misfortune, John Carter echoes in the corridors of fandom. The disappointment over the unmade sequels has manifested in various forms, from online petitions for a continuation of the story to fan-edited trailers aimed at recapturing the film's essence. The depth of this engagement illustrates lingering hunger for closure and a desire to explore the unseen realms of Barsoom, a key element of the film's financial misfortune was its marketing campaign. Audiences were left bewildered by a confusing promotion, one that failed to convey the movie's uniqueness and compelling narrative. Director Andrew Stanton's reputation as the creative force behind films like Finding Nemo and Wally -E wasn't adequately emphasized. The film's marketing efforts were deemed ineffective and confusing by many. Despite director Andrew Stanton's successful works, the marketing did little to emphasize his abilities and the film's potential. Furthermore, Disney made the unusual decision to drop any mention of Mars from the film's title, which likely added to the audience's confusion. The passionate outcry for more John Carter's adventures becomes a testament to the potential left untapped. The fervor of the fanbase highlights the emotional investment 
spurred by the captivating worlds Tantin sought to create. The resonance of Barsoom in popular culture, fueled by Burroughs timeless novels and Tantin's visual interpretations, transcends the constraints of a single cinematic outing. Do you know, the grand finale is all about ambition and commerce? As we navigate the labyrinth of John Carter and its unmaterialized sequels, a poignant realization emerges. The delicate dance between artistic ambition and commercial viability. Stanton's vision sprawling across multiple films collided with the harsh financial realities of the Hollywood. The question of why John Carter II never materialized becomes a symphony of economic caution and creative optimism playing in the grand theater of the film industry. Deja Thoris, the remarkable princess of helium, is not merely a damsel in distress but a strong, intelligent, and capable character. She played an instrumental role in the unfolding saga of Barsoom and its diverse races. Her prologue narration in the proposed sequel, Gods of Mars, would have set the stage for a new adventure, while her love for John Carter added depth to their relationship. In the complex web of Martian politics and power dynamics, Tardos Morse, played by Kieran Hines, appears as a noble figure. However, in the sequel's envisioned narrative, he would have revealed his true identity as Matai Shang, a shape-shifting Thern. The deception and intrigue surrounding Tardos Morse's character would have added a layer of suspense to the storyline. In the next installment of our cosmic exploration, we will unravel the intricate narrative threads Andrew Stanton envisioned for Gods of Mars and Warlords of Mars, peeling back the layers of unfulfilled tales and hidden revelations that might have shaped the destiny of John Carter on the Red Planet. Is Gods of Mars about a torn family? Let's unveil the world of struggle. The sequel's narrative prolonged, entrusted to Lynn Collins' Deja Thoris, set the stage for a rescue mission into the depths of Mars. Cartharis, the child of John Carter and Deja, became the focal point of plot entwined with familial love and the deception of shapeshifter Matai Shang. A reunion between Carter and his family unfurled against the backdrop of an underground city controlled by the enigmatic firstborn. Here, Stanton's vision echoed classic trope of a hero returning to find a world changed but with an added layer. The revelation of a hidden society manipulating the very foundations of Barsoom. Are you aware of the Beneath Martian Surface, or about unveiling the Unseen? Much like the iconic twist in Beneath the Planet of the Apes, Stanton's vision for John Carter II ventured beneath the surface of Mars. The revelation of an advanced civilization operating secretively for eons added a layer of intrigue and social commentary. A technologically advanced society hidden beneath the facade of a seemingly primal world mirrored the duality inherent in Barsoom itself. Are you also aware to the difficult finding financial situation about a sequel lost in the abyss? Yet the dreams of traversing subterranean realms and unraveling the secrets of Mars were eclipsed by the stark reality of Hollywood's financial calculus. The aftermath of John Carter's lukewarm reception left the sequel stranded in the abyss of unfulfilled potential. Are you ready to witness the legacy of John Carter, a hero's odyssey which is unfinished? As we bid adieu to this chapter of our cosmic exploration, the legacy of John Carter lingers as an unfinished odyssey. If you enjoyed this cosmic exploration into the untold saga of John Carter 2, don't forget to hit that like button, share this interstellar journey with your fellow adventurers, and subscribe for more captivating tales from the cinematic cosmos. And of course, ring that bell icon to stay tuned for our next expedition into the uncharted realms of storytelling. Until then, may your adventures be as epic as those on Barsoom.